Hey, Trey, John, first off, like the shorts. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, offensively, it seems like you guys have really excelled the two-minute offense this year. What kind of about Bryce or just the way the unit gets moving kind of allows you guys to succeed in that so far? Just um, our Thursday, we do two-minute drill every Thursday. And, like, we just – that's when we feel like we are our best, just scoring quick, playing fast. And that's where we just thrive at. Charlie? What do you think that you've improved the most over the course of your career going into this season? Just um, for sure, being patient. That's like something I had to learn how to do. But just all aspects of the game, I feel like this uh, May that we had off was very like great for me. I worked the whole May, so I just had to wait my turn and just work. It's a lot of weapons in the wide receiver room with the addition of Jameer Gibbs. How do you guys make sure to, you know, kind of keep each other lifted and spread the wealth on offense that way, you know, everybody feels included? Mm. Um, really, like, what coach, our coaches be saying, no play got a name on it. So whatever play they call, you just got to go out there running like you're the only man on the field. And when the ball comes to you, you make a play. Back over here James. Um, a lot's been made about the offense not being – able to stretch the field as much as they want to. Um, you know, what what comes with being able to be successful at that? And, and is this more just kind of a growing period? And is that kind of how you see it? Mm, yeah, for sure. It's uh, something we all need to work on, like just making big plays. But I feel like it's a work in process, and y'all going to see them soon. Charlie? Kind of a two-parter. Have you found yourself maybe stepping into more of a leadership role that you're in your third year? And, and how have you kind of helped some of the young guys like Isaiah and, and Kendrick Law, who kind of saw some more playing time last week, kind of mm. help bring them along? For sure. Uh, it was just like me, my freshman year with like Smitty, uh, Waddle, Mechie, all them. Just trying to like carry on what they did for me with them, kind of, for sure. A um, couple weeks ago, Coach Saban said the same thing you just said about patience being where you've grown the most, not getting frustrated. How did your impatience used to manifest itself, and, and how did the light come on, you know, that that was a step you needed to take? It was just uh, long talks with my family. It's just like thinking I'm ready when I, I knew, like, as the time like, grew out, I wasn't ready for that, that moment, like seeing, like, like I said, Smitty, like the role he had, it was just like, I'm glad I got to watch him just to see how to, like, step into that role. <laughs> so in uh in film room today or in film sessions, what have you seen from the Vanderbilt defense? Uh we seen well they actually improved a lot from last year. They their defense is actually like very good. So we just we actually started watching yesterday and they just they actually grew up, like they actually way better team than they were. So we just gotta Come hey, with sure hey, how much comfortable? How much more comfortable are, are Kool Aid and Terry on, and just the cornerbacks in general? Now that they've had a few games under their belt, how have you seen that position group kind of settle down? I feel like they're very comfortable, even when, uh, like during, like our uh, fall camp practices, you just see every day just coming together. Like that's a close unit for sure. We got time for a few more. We got Nick. Expanding on kind of the two-minute offense, is it as simple as like, hey, coach puts you guys in a situation like you know, 130, 140 on the clock, and mm -hmm. watch you guys go? And if so, like, you know, what are some other things that you work on kind of on your own to kind of make sure that you're making the most of those moments? Yeah, so like, Coach Saban, like on a Thursday, he'll be like, it'll be like one minute, 20 seconds left, and we'll be like, we need a field goal or a touchdown, and we go against the defense. Whoever wins, like, they stop us, we lose, we score, we win. So it's just like, those situations really help us for on Saturdays. And like me and Bryce and like all the other receivers, he'll tell us like what's his favorite plays like during the two minute and like how do he want us to execute them. So that's the little things we do. Who wins more often than not? Come on now. Y'all know. <laughs> Last two, Nick and then Charlie. Hey, Trey, Sean, uh, you talked about Bryce. Uh, when he talked about you a while back, he, he mentioned that growth or just what you've been doing day in and day out that, you know, we're not seeing necessarily, but that he saw from you. And what ways did he kind of help you in that growth? For sure, Bryce was another person that helped me, like, to learn to stay patient just because when we stayed together, like, I used to talk to him about, 
like all the things like I felt like I was going through. And like he helped me a lot with that little process and like everything else for real. Kind of bouncing off those last two questions, Bryce really excels in the, the two minute offense when you guys run tempo. When, how fun is it to play with him during that? And kind of how fun is it just to watch him do his thing? Uh, nah, it's, it's fun for sure. It's, it's even low key better like watching because like he be doing some crazy things like stuff I ain't never even think like thinking to do if I was that quarterback. So it's it, it's very fun watching him play and watching what he could do on the field. All right, thanks, Trey. Appreciate it.